Hello Trader, I'm going to do a complete multi time frame analysis on GBP USD. Let's see what kind of trading opportunity currently we have in this instrument. Now from the lower time frame, we can see that GBP USD currently showing significant trading opportunity. Now before we discuss how we can trade, first let's look at bigger picture looking at the monthly time frame now from the monthly we can see that gbp usd is a long term bullish market with this monthly impulse the price has created this move followed by this correction we saw that on the monthly it is in another impulsive phase now this is the last monthly candle that has in fact crossed this previous resistance zone this is a very important monthly resistance along with this doji after the price creating an overextended market to the upside we saw that gbp usd has an immediate rejection now we see that this is the monthly doji so far in the first two weeks we see gbp usd is trading in between this resistance and support and it's a long-term bullish market what i think that this month we could see a bit more deeper pullback as the price has triggered the liquidity we might see a retest of this support zone on gbp usd now if you look at the weekly time frame we can see this picture a bit more clearer this is the resistance level where there is a high liquidity on the weekly now with that trigger of liquidity as you can see starting with this impulse on the weekly gbp usd has not come down for a deeper pullback now if we place the fibonacci for starting of this move to the end of the move we can see that still the price has not come down to 38.2 percent fibonacci level now we can expect gbp usd slowly coming come down for a deeper pullback at least in this week we can expect the price to test this long week weekly doji now if we consider the 50 percent of this long week to fill the imbalance in the market we can expect gbp usd to come down to this level which is the around 50 percent of this long week the weekly candle which is an imbalance in the market and highly likely the market will come down and to fill that imbalance before creating any move to the upside if we look at the daily what we see that G, GEO already has formed two dodges and we saw there is a, a huge manipulation at the top on the daily time frame. During the news we have seen the price has broken all this resistance and then immediately closed as a doji. Now we see the price with this move forming a consolidation pattern and also a reversal on the lower time frame. And what I think that as you can see this is the weekly support zone that we are expecting and also aligning with the daily 20 EMA, I think that after retest of this resistance, we could see further downside on GBP USD on the lower time frame to fill that imbalance. If we look at an intraday perspective to see what it is doing, we see that there is a, a multiple a liquidity gap. This new scandal that we have seen yesterday is a, a pure manipulation. The price immediately has come back down and closed back below giving it as a high liquidity grab forming a head and shoulder in that zone with this candle now with that head and shoulder creation today we saw the market has broken from this head and shoulder now at the same time we see that this market is still is maintaining a bullish bias to the upside on the lower time frame and it may not immediately drop in that way as we see that there is a head and shoulder leaving a neckline of this support here support here and also support here along this zone what i think that gu at some point we could see a retest of this level of this previous support turning resistance along with this neckline of this reversal if we see the price is rejecting from that zone after retest we will consider going short on gbp usd targeting along this zone with a high probability trade setup if you find value in this analysis then smash the like button and also let us know in the comment section what's your setup on gbp usd thank you i'll see you soon in my next analysis